Welcome to my channel Krushi Skills. Please like my video and subscribe my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to crochet a tree branch stitch. To crochet this stitch, we will work in multiple of 4. So, I have crocheted 20 chain stitches here. Now, I am going to show you how to crochet a tree branch stitch. Skip the first 3 chains. In the fourth chain from the hook, we will work three double crochets. To make a double crochet, what we will do, yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, and pull through two. And again yarn over, go into the stitch, pull it to through loops, and then again. So, three double crochets are done now we will skip three chains in the fourth chain i will work three double crochets skip the next three stitches and in the fourth chain work three double crochets Skip 3 chains. This is how it looks. Now, skip 3 chains. And in the 4th chain, work 3 double crochets. Four chains are left. Skip 3. And in the last chain, work 2 double crochets. Row 1 is done. If you follow first 3 rows, you can easily make this stitch. This is how the first row looks. To start the next row, chain 3, turn the work, skip these double crochets and in this first empty space, work 1 double crochet. As you can see this space in between the double crochet groups, we will work double crochets. One double crochet in this empty space, yarn over, go into the one row before, in this chain row, in between the middle chain, as you remember we skipped three chains, so in between the three chains, the middle chain, I will work a double crochet. One more double crochet into this empty space. Now, without chaining, without doing anything else, we'll jump into the next empty space and make a double crochet. And again, a long double crochet. Just go into the chain stitch, pull up. A loop pull it a little more to adjust the height of the stitch and make the other double crochet into the empty space so in this row we will again work in group of double crochets but the spaces are different One double crochet in the empty space, one double crochet in the one row before, and one double crochet in the empty space. Jump into the next empty space and work three double crochets the same way I did before. One double crochet into the empty space, and now the last one will be two double crochets in this chain three with the top of chain three that was our first double crochet as you know we replace one double crochet with chain three at the starting point so we will make two double crochets in the last double crochet of the previous row 
this is how it looks after row 2 ends begin row 3 with chain 3 turn the work again skip first double crochets and jump into the empty space work a double crochet yarn over go into the one row before in this group of double crochets we will work a double crochet in this central double crochet pull it a little more to adjust the height of the stitch and one double crochet into the empty space this row you will repeat and repeat yarn over go into the next space work a double crochet again yarn over go into the one row before work a double crochet that will be a little higher than other double crochets the stitch is not difficult but it's a little tricky if you just pay attention to the one two and three row you can easily make it as you can see this is how it looks and you will follow the pattern again and again watch it carefully to learn it one double crochet into the empty space one double crochet into the one row before the middle double crochet of the double crochet group and one double crochet into the empty space and then as you can see how I am working please follow it exactly how I am doing now at the end as you know we do two double crochets in the last one so this is how it looks two double crochets at the top of chain three from previous row row ends and now we will begin the next round chain 3 turn the work skip double crochets jump into the empty space work one double crochet yarn over go into the one row before in this middle double crochet of the double crochet groups just yarn over go into the stitch pull up a loop pull it through two and again pull it through two yarn over and one double crochet into the empty space without chaining just skip three double crochets jump into the empty space work one double crochet one double crochet into the one row before and one double crochet into the empty space I hope you have enjoyed my videos it will be useful for you you can easily understand it's an ideal stitch for any blanket because it's a little thick because every time we fill these empty spaces with double crochets so there are no empty spaces so it's an ideal stitch for a BB blanket Stay tuned to my video. Please subscribe my channel if you have liked my video. Share my videos. And don't forget to click the bell icon. Now I will show you how to attach the other color. It will look more beautiful. Now what I am doing in the last stitch. What I will do yarn over 
go into the stitch pull up a loop and pull it through two then leave this yarn grab the other yarn make a slip knot go into this slip and pull it through the stitch chain three and then we will make a knot out of these two strands so this is how we will attach the next color it will look more beautiful with this combination of these two colors chain 3 turn the work work a double crochet into the empty space one one double crochet into the one row before one double crochet into the same empty space you can see how these two colors are complementing each other so this is how it looks we will work in the same way the same pattern there is no change in the pattern only color is changed as you can see the color combination matters a lot so you can see the stitch is more visible and beautiful in this color chain 3 turn the work work into the empty space one double crochet one double crochet into the one row before one double crochet into the empty space and then so on you can make it in the size of your choice but only keep it in your mind that you will work in multiple of fours. Keep it in your mind that there is no increasing and decreasing of stitches. So your edges will be pretty straight and you will not forget anything. This is how it looks. One more row to go, chain 3, again work into empty spaces, I hope you will like my video, for any queries and trouble to follow the pattern please ask me in comments. The double crochet that we work in the previous row will be a little high than the other double crochets to adjust the smoothness of the row. This is how it looks. Thank you for watching.